do you think a lot has been written about the fact that that one of the great things about the Rat Pack was that you had Italians, you had Jews, you had Sammy, a black American black man, that they did an awful lot as a group to put aside prejudice in this country. But when you read the accounts, you read that that Sammy really suffered terribly during those times from hecklers. I mean, there are tons of stories that Sammy told about. Oh those well, days. I I, uh, I remember going to the Copa when uh, Sammy had just married my. And whatever that group was, that group is that um, is against black and whites. They were picketing in front of the Copa because Sammy had married mine. Do you think that that the guys like the Rat Pack? Do you think they did a lot to change things? I don't know about them, but I know that my son has done a lot to change because when when Sammy kissed. Nixon. That was the worst thing that, that the blacks thought that he did. But you see, they didn't know that with, with Sammy kiss, uh, kissing Nixon, Sammy had just got to being in, in Vegas doing f something for the United College Fund, which if they could count the money that, that Sammy has put into the Negro College Fund, it could be over a million dollars because he has did many of things for them. And not only for them, but for other groups, like the ones in Harlem. They don't ever talk about uh, Sammy doing anything. Like uh, uh, one time in Atlantic City, they wanted to name a street after Sammy. But the, but the new people, the Johnny Come Lately, don't know anything about Sam. And they made a remark about why put him on the north side, put him on the south side where he would love to be, talking about being with white people. That is not true. Right. Sammy also campaigned for Kennedy, didn't he? In the beginning, until Kennedy said that he didn't want, he told Frank, he didn't think that, uh, I don't know how true this is, don't quote me. But I mean, there was something said that uh, Kennedy did not want Sammy at the wedding. At the inauguration. Oh, whatever. Right. And, well, that's, and that's when uh, Frank didn't like, you know. He said, if my, yeah, I imagine he felt that if my friend can't come, I ain't coming either. Right. Well, that that was the the big thing, you know, that one that Kennedy was perfectly happy to have Sammy and Frank getting him elected. Uh, oh, but once well. he was elected, he started to draw the lines again. Well, that's all right. And then not only that, you don't know who Kennedy had to talk to. See, Kennedy wasn't by himself doing this, you know. He had somebody over him saying, "Well, I don't want him." You understand? Exactly. I do. Sure I do Southern understand. Democrats. Yeah. I do understand that. But so let me get this straight. So your impression is that when Kennedy and and that's been written, Janet Lee told me that, so that's that's Well she well, would know more about this right, than I do. That when when Kennedy said that he didn't want uh he told Peter Lawford to tell Sammy that he didn't want him and Mai to come to the inauguration. Your impression is that Frank said, well, if you don't want my friend, you don't well, want Well, I him. imagine. Can you say that? Can you, can you just re recount that? Well, because that's exactly what I got. I, see, people have said that Frank was angry at Kennedy for something else, but that's not what I was told. I well, was you know, you cannot believe everything you hear and very little that you see. Exactly. But based on their relationship, it would make sense to you, wouldn't it, that Frank the one with, with, uh, with, with The one that would make sense to me would be the one that if, if uh, Kennedy told Frank or told Peter, that he that they didn't want Sam. That would be the one that made uh, Frank turn around. Exactly. 
I would think so. And then when he turned around, Sammy turned around. And they both became Republicans. Huh? And eventually they both became Republicans. That's what I'm saying. When Frank turned around and became a Republican, so did Sammy. And that got him into a whole lot of trouble with his own kind, you know. Well, Sammy did come out, though, when Every married Altavis, and he, he was becoming much more into the whole... That's uh, what somebody told you. But I get that impression from the But publicity. you see, you know, I mean, like, I get the impression that if, like if there's a thing happening in here, Sammy has got more blacks that he has invited than Altavis. Most of her people would be white. So I don't know where this thing came about that um, Altavis was the cause of Sammy getting into the blacks. Sammy had always been with the blacks. Well, I think it might have also been the fact that he had, he started his own, remember he started the ecology label and he got involved with Motown and it seems I didn't know he was ever involved with oh, Motown. Oh yeah, there are pictures of him with Barry Gordy when he and signed I, with them. But baby, friendship and pictures don't mean that he was involved. But the label was. Well, I never heard him being involved with the label. Uh-huh. I know he was with Capital. I know he was with whatever label Frank was with, or whatever with the other labels, but I ain't never heard him being on a Motown label. But what I don't know will make a book. Okay, so now tell me again about, um, right. You said to me when we were talking the other day that if you look at the whole issue with civil rights, it's like nothing's changed. It hasn't. Tell, tell me your feelings about it. Because that. New York is as bad as Georgia. And this is supposed to be the place where you leave Georgia to come here to be free. But New York is as bad. And they, I never knew that Jersey was prejudiced until after I left it. Right. But you know, Sammy always said, he always had an answer for that. He always said, if you think things haven't changed, just like look at my life. He felt things had really changed. Well, he, my son wasn't stupid, honey. She, he could read more books and never went to school and, and tell you what those books meant. Never went to school a day in his life. But he went to the White House. Mm -hmm. But he went to the White House. Well, I mean, that's all right. But the thing is that, that don't you, do you... And not only the White, excuse me, not only the White House, he went to Europe and the Queen got to him, you know. So that's okay. what talent did for him. Do you think, though, that, that, that Sammy really did believe that, that, he got everything that he, you know, that, that he overcame all of the things that he had had. No, to. I don't think that. I really don't. You know. I think there was a whole lot of things that Sammy Wush could have happened that didn't. Like what? I don't know. For him I just personally believe. or on a world? On a whole or, you know. He even got, uh, he was, how many doctors things he got and never went to school? And why do you think they gave it to him? Because he was Sammy Davis Jr.? But he, my, my son had it up here. Right. Was it true that, that he suffered a lot because all of his friends were white? I mean, no, the rest I don't of the rat pack no, was no, white. No, no, no. You don't think so? I don't think so. You think that was his choice? He just happened to like them? Well, I mean, those are the people he knew. That's like I told his father. When she said, your son's going to marry a white woman, I said, so? That's all he knows. Because those little dark girls up in Canada, I mean, he didn't, I mean, I wouldn't want that for a son-in-law, daughter-in-law. I'm only kidding. I'd have anybody for a daughter-in-law. Well, look, but the thing is, too, that what joined them all was that they all were talented. It had nothing to do with race. Well, you, I mean, my dear, can you compare anybody with the Rat Pack? 
with my son, they were not that much talent in them, and my son had this much talent, and my son was the was the the how would I put it was a stronghold of all of them because Sammy started singing better than Frank ever sang in his life before he died. And if anybody wants to tell the truth, that's the way it was. Do you remember the last time you spoke to Sammy? Yes, uh, about um, a day before he died. And was there anything that... No, I mean, during that time, Sammy, I don't think Sammy knew I was uh, there. Because he had the tubes, he had the, the, the morphine or whatever. Yeah, I was so, up in it. So before that? Well, I mean, when, when I... Was the la what was the last good I don't know, darling. Don't know. I couldn't tell you the last words he said. The only thing I know, he gave me a necklace and a, and a, wa and a bracelet. He gave it to Shirley and told Shirley to give this to my mother. Because this is before he got incoherent, I guess. And, uh, okay, let's talk just a little bit about when, um, what you were telling me about the copa. Remember yesterday or the day before, you were telling me about what it was like when Sammy played the copa. Well, I was telling you, we were asking about Al Green. And I said that uh, Al Green made Padel very unhappy. No, 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 no. You were telling me the other day when I was here that that what it was like to play the copa when Sammy played the copa, and you went there and like the way the audiences were and how great it was at the copa. Well, I mean, it was great. That was when Pardell had it, and I was there when Elizabeth and uh, Richard came down to see Sammy at the copa. I was sitting right next to them. And somebody uh, said something and concerning Sammy and Richard and, and um, what's the name that was married to Richard? Elizabeth. You know who I'm talking about, Elizabeth. Uh, she would not get up and stand up. And he told her, stand up. And she got up. But you see, they were all friends together. Yeah, exactly. Now. Uh, just because we had bad sound on it, tell me about when Sammy had his eye surgery. I know we did this story before, but tell me about when he was in the accident. Well, you see, I didn't find out I was here, and it came over, I don't even know whether it came, I think it came over radio or was in the paper. So as soon as I found out, I called California, and I tried to get to uh, Will Master, and I asked him, I said, I want to come, send for me. So Will said to me, no, you don't need to come. He's all right, he'll be all right. So I called Atlantic City and got my ex, I mean, the lady that I work for down there, Miss Grace, to give me the money to go to California. And she did. Now when I got there, I went to a place where my husband was playing cards, and it was a terrible place to me, you know. But uh, Sammy found out where I was, and he sent a call for me to come out to, to us on the Strip, Sunset Strip. And that's where I stayed the whole time that uh, I was in California. Now, you know where I'm talking about? I sure do. What hospital was he in? What hospital was? Was Sammy in? He was in San Bernardino. And that's when I came in town. I had to get a train the next day. I got there the day before Thanksgiving. And I got a train to go from California to San Bernardino to see Sammy in the hospital. And he was getting ready to leave. And who was there at that time? Oh, I don't know. It's uh, uh, 
I don't know the people. I know Pee Wee was there, and uh, I don't think his father was there, but... Uh, but when Frank I, was there, right? Cause remember no, you, not, in, not when I was there. Oh, but you remember you told me that, that Frank had arranged for Sammy to have a house to... I told, but that was before, that was after I left San Bernardino to see Sammy. Okay, okay. So but, can uh, you say that? About I Frank arranging for Somebody did it. I, I think it was Frank. I don't know. Well, yes, I said that in the beginning. I don't know where. It, I had to say something. Frank did it because Frank had a whole lot of say. And he could do more than Sammy could do, you know. Because I don't even know where. Because Sammy was working in Vegas when he had the accident. So I don't know where he was living before, but I know that uh, they got this house, and that's when they gave a party because it was almost uh, Sammy's birthday, because his birthday is on the 8th. And who was there at that party? Well, I know, I don't know who. I know Marilyn Monroe was there. Bless her heart, she looked so pitiful. She was an introvert to me, you know. And Frank was there? No, Frank wasn't there. Right. So he how, might have come later. So how would Marilyn Monroe be there? Who did she know? I don't, well, she knows, who did she know? She knew them all. Uh-huh. So she knew Sammy way of back course, then? I don't know. She knew Sammy since the rest of them knew Sammy, you know. So they went far See, after Sammy out. lost his eye, he got to be real big, you know, real big. Right. Well, it was. And everybody long. was that wasn't didn't know him knew him then, because when he went to Ciro's, that's when the, the 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 fellas would come in with the patches on their eyes, and this is the the thing that happened, you know. So that was almost the beginning of the Rat Pack way back in 54. That's right. Can you tell me how, how your, what you had said before about that? Remember you said, to my mind, the Rat Pack started At the back, Sands. Back then because they used to always come when... And, and whoever was show was on, if Sammy was on, they'd all come up and do something. So can you say... In my mind, the Rat Pack started... At, I would say that the Rat Pack, I don't know for sure, but I think it started from the Sands in Vegas. Right, okay. Or from Ciro's, because she said in Ciro's. No, not from where here. Didn't you say that they all came on the stage with patches? Yeah, well, that was at, in, in uh, Vegas or L.A. I thought it was Ciro's, because the picture says Ciro's. Uh, the picture in his book says what? Says Ciro's in L.A. Well, that's where the patches were. Right. Well, they also did it at the Sands in Vegas. Right. Okay. I didn't know that. I I just have a picture of it at Ciro's. So they did that. That became like a thing. Like they even started joking yeah, about that's the right. patches. Well, not only. I mean, the patch was because it was new. But they didn't always come with the patch because Sammy didn't wear the patch that long. Right, right, right. Now when, when um, so everything was fair game to joke about, right? I mean, they would joke about, they oh, would kid course. each other about anything, Anything. Right? Can you remember some of the, something that, that you remember that they used to joke with each other about? Well, you see, I, you see I am a New York person. I don't know what was happening on the West Coast. Right. Because most of all of their get-togethers or whatever would be out there. Right. You know what I mean? Right, exactly. Exactly. All right. Um, Just so you know, Carol, it's like nighttime outside. Okay, let's stop. Okay, so it's 